Introducing a beast from the fields. Standing at 14 tonnes, this massive vehicle is fitted with a 443 horsepower engine. And the driver taming the powerful vessel is an AI. If you think of Tesla when it comes to autonomous driving, think again. Agriculture manufacturers are investing heavily in AI and autonomous driving, and farms might even provide the best conditions for driverless vehicles. So chances are you'll probably see them on the fields before they fill up the streets. So why is that, and will autonomous tractors relieve the surging food prices and make your meals cheaper? Agricultural machinery manufacturers are investing more and more money in artificial intelligence. The goal? Autonomous machines and driverless tractors. According to market research company FactMR, the global market for autonomous farm equipment will hit 150 billion US dollars by 2031. And that's not just a dream for the future. Manufacturer John Deere already presented a tractor that's supposed to perform tasks completely autonomously. For example, ploughing a field. Using GPS, a total of 12 cameras and a neural network algorithm, it can navigate through the terrain and avoid obstacles. Whenever it does encounter a problem that it can't solve, the farmer is contacted via an app. For example, extreme weather conditions can still cause issues for smart tractors. The first vehicles are expected to be delivered by the end of the year. Manufacturers benefit from the relatively easy conditions found in fields. Tractors drive more slowly than cars do, and they don't have to deal with pedestrians or bicycles. That's why manufacturers can rely on purely optical systems. Unlike autonomous cars for the road, the tractors don't need LIDAR, a laser-based distance measurement technology, and it can save costs that way. That could mean that self-driving tractors might become mainstream even before autonomous cars. The goal of autonomous tractors is to make farming more efficient and to respond to the shortage of labour in agriculture. The driverless tractors won't influence the currently rising food prices just yet. According to the manufacturer John Deere, they are ready to go into mass production, but as of now, delivery is still limited to North American farmers. Critics have pointed out the importance of data. The autonomous system collects data on the environment and agricultural parameters in order to improve its algorithm. However, it's still unclear in many cases whether farmers can easily access their data or whether data sovereignty lies with the manufacturer of the machines. This would mean that farmers would be more dependent on a particular manufacturer. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.